Hello there, welcome back to our latest video. I'm Andy and today I'm going to discuss how to prevent overspray and why you should do as much as possible to limit the amount of overspray in the booth. Put simply, overspray is the paint particles that have missed the desired target and it then spreads onto other surfaces in the booth. The main reason for wanting to limit overspray as much as possible is the fact that in effect overspray is money on the floor. If you manage to cut back on overspray then you will be surprised at the paint usage that you cut back on and in turn the cost benefits that you will experience. Not only does overspray cost the company a lot of money but it can lead to a low quality finish. This is because when there is a lot of dried overspray in the painting area it can become loose and airborne. Then once in the air it will come into contact with the wet paint and cause the finish to become contaminated and issues can occur like solvent popping or dust contamination. This will then cost the company more money in time and rework. To completely stop overspray and have all of the paint leave the gun and stick to the desired surface is impossible. But there are quite a few ways to reduce the quantity of overspray. Most of the time you can reduce overspray by tweaking the setup of the spray equipment. From adjusting the fan pattern to lowering the pressure and changing the spray tips, all of these things can help. If you are painting a narrow object and there is a broad fan pattern, this will naturally lead to overspray. So merely narrowing down the fan pattern will reduce overspray. This goes for airless sprayers as well, because by changing the tip size, and it will in turn change the fan pattern, as well as changing the tip size, reducing the pressure in airless sprayers will also help minimize overspray. One smart way of reducing overspray is by investing in an electrostatic spray system. This is when the paint is electrically charged and then attracted to the substrate, meaning the majority, up to 95% of the coating ends up on the substrate. See the link in the description for another video we have created on electrostatic painting. Thanks for watching. If you're still struggling to reduce your overspray or have any other issues, please get in touch with our team. You can also subscribe to our channel where we are uploading videos weekly to help you in your paint shop.